In this section, I will explain one of the most used cycles in milling, the G81 drilling cycle. Before we start, I'd like to explain some drawing standards that I've added to this particular component. What we have here is an 80mm square billet. As you can see on the dimensions on the left, I have added the incremental moves of 20mm between each hole. On the bottom, it means exactly the same. I've just used the phrase typical and then used commas to show that each section is the same size. This also applies to the diameter of the bore. I have stated it's 10 millimeters typical. That just means that every bore is exactly the same size. The first few lines of this program you're probably familiar with by now. The first line we designate the program number with our operator's note calling it a drilling cycle. With the second line, we have our search number, the N1, and then we designate tool 1, offset 1, with T0101, and then we give it an operator's note of a 10mm drill. The next two lines, we specify we are using a metric system with the G21 command, and then we set our spindle speed at 500 RPM, and M3, which turns the spindle on in a clockwise motion. For the next line, we move our cutter above the first hole we are going to drill. For this, we use the GOO command and designate the X and Y position of the hole. We also bring our cutter down to 10 millimeters above the surface of the job. Now it's time to activate our drilling cycle. We do this by using the G81 command. On the same line, we declare how deep we want our drill to go into the material. In this case, we are drilling minus 10 millimeters, so we are drilling a 10 millimeter deep hole. We also set the feed rate on this line. I personally set the feed rate at 50 millimeters per minute, but it depends on your machine and the cutter you're using. Now that we have our G81 drilling cycle active, the machine automatically converts into the incremental positioning system. I explained the incremental positioning system in another part of this course. By just stating one line of code at x minus 40 mm, we can move our cutter to the center point of the next hole. We don't need to tell the machine to move down in x to drill the hole. We simply just need to give it the center position of each hole and the drilling cycle will take care of the rest by using the z movement on the G81 line. So here we just tell it to go Y minus 40 to the next position of the hole and it automatically drills it for us. Again, a simple X plus move takes it to the center point of the fourth hole and the machine drills it. The final hole that we need to drill is in the center of the job. For this we need the two axes move, X and Y. Again, this is an incremental move, so we're not taking our positions from the datum, we are taking our positions from the centre of the last hole. Now it's time to cancel our drilling cycle. For this, we simply use G80. This cancels all can cycles, not just drilling. This line takes us back to the machine zero position, which is commonly used as a tool change position. To finish off this block of program, we use the MO5 command to stop the spindle and the MOO command to tell the program to stop. In this part of the course, we learnt about the G81 drilling cycle, how to cancel the G81 drilling cycle with the G80 command, and incremental programming to drill holes.